Welcome to One More Thing About Dinnerware, brought to you by the International Museum of Dinnerware Design. What do Rice Krispies have to do with dinnerware, you ask? In the 1960s, Kellogg's offered the breakfast diner a small individual serving size box of Rice Krispies with perforations and a lining so it could go from being a box to your cereal bowl. Today we're considering opening a box dated 1963 pouring on the milk and seeing if it still goes snap, crackle, pop. It's 60 years old. It still rattles in the unopened box. But first, we'll do a control test and see if a new box of Rice Krispies makes an audible snap, crackle, pop. We've just opened a new fresh box of Rice Krispies. Now we're going to pour on the milk. I can hear it, can you? Today we're opening a 60-year-old individual serving size box of Rice Krispies. The box is dated 1960. They were never that easy to open, so please bear with me. It still rattles. Originally, this would have served as your breakfast bowl because it's lined with wax paper, but because we want to save the box for the permanent collection of the International Museum of Dinnerware Design, we're going to pour the milk into the bowl. Let's listen and see if it still goes snap, crackle, and pop. It's pretty quiet. You may have noticed that we switched boxes of Rice Krispies on you. First we started with the 1963 box and then we went to the 1960 box. It turns out we emptied both boxes and tried both. Now we have two little individual cereal bowls that were once boxes of Rice Krispies. But you know what we discovered? So neither one of them particularly goes snap, crackle, pop anymore. <laughs>